Welcome back, everyone. The heat and humidity sticking around for one more day, and storms are on the horizon. Let's go over to Larissa as she sees what's on track. Yeah, we have a little bit of everything here happening in the next 48 hours. Right now, though, we're dealing with the heat and the humidity, and current feels like temperatures across many locations are in the triple digits. And if you are a part of the sensitive group, whether you have respiratory issues or you suffer from asthma, you want to heed to these advisories and just maybe avoid too much time outdoors. As during the height of the afternoon, feels like temperatures will be closer to 101 and 102. So, very, very hot out there and just stifling heat and humidity continuing. Because of that, we're going to see the possibility for strong to severe storms to unfold later on this evening. As of right now, the threat is isolated. But the threat is still there. And much like yesterday, where we had those downpours move through the region, this is exactly what's going to happen today with the primary threat happening over our north and western communities. You see, 645 will have some storms beginning to form across out west, and we'll continue to see that. Throughout the rest of the afternoon, once the sun goes down, I do suspect that the severe weather threat begins to diminish, and then we are dry to kick off the start of our Thursday, at least briefly. But it's going to be a soupy start to our Thursday morning, dreary as well, and then storms are going to begin to develop out ahead of Tropical Storm Elsa. So let's go ahead and talk tropics, right? We've been watching this storm very, very closely. It made landfall late morning, and right now it's packing max sustained winds of 65 miles an hour. It's still moving north at 14 miles an hour, and as it continues to skirt, as it continues to move over the Carolinas, it is supposed to downgrade again. This is the latest model update here that shows us that we're going to see a depression as we head towards Thursday morning. Truthfully, it doesn't really mean anything. We're going to still see all of those impacts as it makes its closest approach to our region. This is Thursday night and into Friday morning. It's going to re emerge back into the Atlantic. And once again, the latest National Hurricane Center update shows that by Friday morning, just as it's over New York City, the island, it's going to once again form into a tropical storm. So we're going to be watching that closely. Regardless, we already have tropical storm watches that are in effect. Across the New Jersey shore, extending south into our Delaware beaches as well. So, here is what we know. The timing of it still looks to be Thursday night and into Friday morning. We're going to be watching for flash floods, torrential rain. An isolated tornado is not out of the question. Storm surge with this, as well as damaging wind gusts as the storm makes its closest approach. This is what it looks like on radar. Here it goes. There's Elsa, and you see that brighter green, that darker green, and these brighter yellows indicate. The torrential rain that we've been talking about. Now, winds will begin to increase late Thursday night and continue as we head towards the day on Friday. And if I had to pick a time slot when we will see the brunt of the storm, it's going to be midnight Friday through 7 a.m. on Friday. So, once again, Thursday night and Friday will be the worst of it. Behind it, the weekend looks fantastic. I'll step out of the way because temps will be in the mid to low 80s Saturday, Sunday, and then we warm back up on Monday. All right, just have to get through these next couple of bumpy days, and then we are clear for the weekend. That's what we like to hear, Larissa. Something to look forward to. <laughs> Thank you.